well. Hi, how are you today? In this video, I want to tell you, slow the you know what down, please slow. Do you know how to slow down? So the world can feel very chaotic and you can feel an inner sense of urgency sometimes. Like everything's falling apart. Your personal life needs to get on track. You're experiencing financial toxicity. You are not sure where all this is going and you might feel like you're stuck. You hit a wall. Here, let me give you a visual. You might have heard people talk about this film, The Matrix. Well, in the Matrix, the main character actually is like letting everything around him do this while he's like, okay. Or another really good example, how many of you like follow sports where there's a runner, it's a relay race. Our team has done really well with the baton handoff, okay. The runner is ready but they don't like hit go until they have that thing in hand. And then if you ever watch this in slow motion, it's so cool. You know, they're doing this. Well, if you don't slow down, you can't receive, you can't integrate, you cannot engage the other sides of you. And I know this because I've been teaching it for over 10 years. For over 10 years, trying to get people, especially the alpha people who are really electric, they're dynamic, to slow down is such a chore for them. Guess what? I have ways to do this. So what are some of the benefits when you slow down? Well, first of all, you detach from a lot of that like stream of chaos, okay? Sometimes it's stream of chaos. It's like obviously what happens after a flood. What do we see when there's a flood? There's been a breach. There's like all this fast rushing water, but there's all kinds of debris in it. And some of that debris is dangerous. Some of it's toxic. It's really toxic. It's like cars and fuel and things from people's houses and tree limbs and, you know, sorry, corpses. And like, after a while, if there is no cleanup, it leads to even more toxic stuff. Okay. Those floodwaters have to slow and recede. So the people that do their best is when they're not fighting it, they are actually pausing. Can you pause and do you learn how to pause the right way so that your higher self can actually assist you. A lot of people don't. They don't know these techniques. I'm gonna to venture to say nobody except me when I was a technique so far. My practitioners do, I do. I've been guided to make it very concise. I know to some people I've had criticism about that, but if I don't say it, um, it that is how it is. There's a thing to know. For some people, this is gonna be really new. So I'm gonna also say this, please don't rest on your laurels. Be teachable, be open, be open to learning the other aspects of this because learning to incorporate all of the elements, the air, the water, the fire, the earth, the love. Love is that magical thing that is felt and it's not seen, but it's expressed and it's reciprocated. So this is more than stop to smell the roses because that smell the roses, they can be when people take a little break and they're like, you know what? I'm gonna take a personal day. I'm gonna take a little fluff day and I'm just not gonna do anything. I'm gonna take a cheat day from my diet or I'm gonna take a cheat day from the gym or I'm gonna like totally break my routine, play hooky, I recommend do not be dishonest about that. Arrange it if at all possible and inform people so that you're not just disappearing and being irresponsible. A lot of people do that. A lot of people rationalize it. And I'm saying be honorable about it. The other thing is when you're stopping to smell the roses, okay, smell your senses, right? So you have other senses that need to come online. And if you're not doing it, you know, your mind takes over and you're not allowing the body to ramp up your real senses, to ramp up your immune system. If you do not, you cannot integrate. This is why I do my programs over an extended period. They're over two weeks or over a three week or a month long period so that people are capable of doing the integration. Or for busy people, I offer one-on-one -on -one sessions where we get to it 
and I still give them instructions on what to do afterwards, okay? A session doesn't just start in the session. It starts before, and I am a sympath, not an empath, so I always get the advance information of what's going to happen, and then the what to do after, and sometimes that's after energetic events, it's after purging, it's after these icky flood water. Another example is, you know, a storm, a tornado. Like, you're not going to stop a tornado. You have to get to safety. And yet afterward, there's a lot of um, things to attend to, okay? How do you deal with life storms if you can't pause, breathe, take a break? How do you get yourself out of the chaos? Another example is a riptide. Okay, I live near a large body of water. The shape of that water uh, makes it so that we actually have a lot of riptides here. We've had a lot of drownings this summer because of it, because people are unaware of what to do in the energies of a riptide. And what you have to do is you find a different angle to get yourself to the shore. So this is what I'm saying about this. You're not on the ascent like this. Sometimes you're on a shallower angle, but it's steady and gradual with little breaks here and there so that you can do this integration and it's proper for you. It's at the speed for your life. It's not spinning out of control, totally overwhelming you. And for a lot of people, when they first find out about their spiritual awakening, twin flames, it turns their life upside down. Now, for some of you who are long timers, throw yourself back into the day when a lot of this wasn't even presented out there. By now, you can feel like your old hands, but I'm still going to say to you, please don't rest on your laurels. Yeah, you might be a long timer, but you may not have made those quantum leaps forward. It may be time for you to learn something new about the body so you can get that under your belt and really adjust yourself. So what do we do in this? When I'm telling you, slow the flipping thing down, slow it down, okay? I, I, I can't tell you like as a person who is very dynamic, it was hard for me to do things slow, but it's like another example is fast food and slow cooking, okay? You get different results when you slow cook certain things than you do. Like some things are like ribs or a nicely smoked uh, piece of something or a squash where you slow roast it. You slow roast a sweet potato. Let's talk harvest veggies here, right? Because I'm a foodie. I love to enjoy food and like all its permutations, but the technique is sometimes very important. Yeah, you could stab those sweet potatoes with a knife to vent the steam out and stick it in the microwave and be done in two minutes, but you're gonna get a completely different texture than if you slow roast that baby. So there is something to be said about slow and it has to do with your central nervous system, okay? It has to do with not always triggering your fight or flight, your anxiety, your nervousness, your social anxiety, even your anxiety about this journey. Like, what if I finally meet a twin? Because a lot of you, like after years, you're thinking, maybe it's never going to happen and I'm okay with that. I'll, no, it's not. We're just getting started. There is more to happen in the coming months that you need to be ready for. And I'm one of the people who has chosen and been elected to help teach, heal, and masterfully, multidimensionally get you going. So you engage the higher and the deeper sides of you. You also deepen your sleep. Now, what does deep sleep do for you? Okay, let me tell you, as a person who went for about six weeks with constant wake-ups before I took the hint and learned what to do with it, I was on sleep deprivation mode. And then I started thinking these weird things like, oh my God, this is how they've tortured prisoners of war and how children are sometimes tortured by their parents, making them stay up or something, you know, or, you know, different institutions, like maybe the military waking people up, these young men whose bodies are still forming and like they're exhausted. They're in a state of exhaustion. Okay. 
gearing up their fight or flight system. But sleep restores your body's tissues, especially heart tissue, especially gut tissue, especially eye tissue, the brain function, your ability to create, be intelligent, and maintain and also remember. So when I say maintain, I mean your memory banks, what you should remember, how to do things, and your muscle tissues. It is the number one trick, that's not a trick, of bodybuilders. They'll pump heavy and then they go take a nap. They're like, there they are laying and you're like, how is that a job? And to them, that's their job because they're also promoting other things, right? They're promoting like protein powders and you know, so they gotta look good doing that. They sleep, <laughs> they sleep. So some of these people you see, guess what? They're like sleeping on the job, but it's, it, that's how they're getting it, okay? That's how they're getting it. You can get similar results, but once you've had a spiritual twin flame awakening, your sleep is vitally important because these are levels that you connect, you merge, you get your visions, you get your messages, you get your what to do next, and you get a lot more than that, okay? You are also deepening your senses. You have more than five senses, but if you don't take the time, you're never gonna know how it really feels to have all the other senses come online. Your intuitions, those things that we like sometimes call gut feelings, guess what that moves up and that becomes like a flash of lover's intuition. So fast, some people when it first starts, they second guess themselves. They're like, did I really think that? Did I really like instantaneously know this? And it's different than those knowings like, you know, in the fourth dimension where you're like, oh, I know that they're a dark person. You're not even going to give a flying fig about who's dark and who isn't. You're going to be like, oh, dark? Yeah, you look like you're dressed up for Halloween. It's not going to make a blip on your radar. And some people are so scared about that. I actually, you know, it, I find it amusing by now, but I live through it. And when you get on the other side, you'll feel like everyone's playing like this Halloween dress up, putting on their scary mask. Like, ooh, ooh, you're so scary. But it's because you lift to a level where that stuff that's happening, it doesn't touch you. That is also my specialty is to actually elevate and ascend you. And people feel it too. Now, the one really big important thing, which a lot of people sometimes have shunted aside and I recommend that you remember this is it is for making love because making love happens in a higher dimension. It flutters down to your body and it can start ahead of time before you're with physically with the person that you're intended to be with. Doesn't happen with soulmates because you're just smacking flesh together. Doesn't happen by yourself because you're probably down there hooked into all kinds of like possibly X-rated things that like you guys don't need to be plugged into anymore and you want to unplug that. This creates the actual third energy that then implements the needed change the needed infusion of energy to nature, to the planet, to your creations. When I say creations, I mean, yeah, jobs. I mean, businesses. I mean, things that actually support you. Um, even getting guided on what investments to make. Should you buy a property? Should you buy a particular farmette? Should you buy an investment property? Are you putting other people to work? This is what I encourage you. Instead of being on the negative side of things, you have to be on the positive side of what is this going to do for you that then turns around and benefits other people. That's what you want. So my upcoming class, which is a 14-day transformational class, Introduction to Twin Flames. Now, I do see some of you and you're saying, how do I do this? Or what happens next? This is what should happen next for you. Okay, I'm just going to say it right out. Join us. Join us. <laughs> okay, because you're getting a lot of bunk out there. You're getting uh, maybe confused. We totally focus on the body and we get you going. 
We are doing daily twin flame body breath and juice. If you can lift your arms, you can join us. If you can move your legs, you can join us. If you can lay on your back, you can join us because you are going to benefit. You're going to learn about juicing. There are simple juice formulations that I have to help you with parts of this because the certain fruits and veggies target certain places within your body. And I know this and I'm always the guinea pig. I'm the one who gets guided and I tweak it and I'm like, oh, how's that work? Where am I feeling it? Because I vividly feel things. I feel the entire track. I can feel things travel through my body and light up and pop open. I want the same for you because when you have those experiences, that's when you really know what Twin Flames is about and that it's not about chasing some narcissist to the nth degree to where you're bitter, angry, discouraged. Please stop the discouragement now. But how much is this? Yeah, I mean, like, um, really, I don't know. I, I just really, like, what to join, it gets confusing. Well, look, we focus totally on the body, totally on the body with question and answers and live intuitions from me for your questions and getting answers. Yeah, but how does this really, like... Well, for 14 days, if you are one of the lucky people who uses the discount code, it works out to about $9 a day. $9 a day, huh? Let me break that down further. That is one Starbucks and maybe two glasses of wine if you buy the bottle yourself, okay? So let's get off of the, all the things that we boost to, you know, boost up our energy like the caffeine and then wind down at the end of the day and fall into the same boring patterns. How about if we do it differently? Well, that sounds good, but um, there's no buts. This is the direction it's going. And this is a great thing. I'm limiting it to 30 people so that I can pay attention to you. I am always live in here. You have something else to know about this. Yeah, there's other people that talk about juices. What they're not talking about is how it benefits you as a twin flame, what it does for you and your other half what senses it helps you open up, okay? All of the other benefits of it, how to do it, how to make it easy for yourself so that you'll want to do it, so that it feels like a natural part of you. I'm going to say this. The reason that I juice, okay, I started years ago because this guy at my work, I started noticing he was slimming down and his skin looked beautiful and... I was like, hey, Kenny, what are you doing? And he was like, oh, I started juicing. And even though my parents had these friends that were kind of like beatniks and they were considered health nuts, I was like familiar with this. And I started and it worked for me. So it's been a really long time. I'm also a student of Dr. Norman Walker, who did extensive juice and enzyme research therapy to help with intense health conditions. So everyone who joins, you're going to get an outline and you're going to get a juicing video. So I hope to see you there. If you have questions, write me at twinflamerainconnection at gmail.com. And as always, thank you so much for being on the journey. I will be filming my own juicing series so that it breaks it down for you. You'll have it to review and it will help you and make it simple for you. Okay, it is part of the new lifestyle. So thanks so much for uh, watching. Bye.